Good evening everyone, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all doing good. Firstly, can I apologise if you can hear any like banging in the background. When I'm filming this, it is currently fireworks night, so it's the 5th of November, uh, aka first night of England's four week, hopefully, lockdown. So yeah, apologies if you can hear lots of fireworks going off in the background, that is the reason why. But like probably a lot of people, I'm starting to feel a little bit down, a little bit nervous about these four weeks at home. Um, I personally live on my own, so that doesn't help the situation. I can go into my little support bubble, um, which I will be doing throughout the next few weeks. But yeah, it's just a little bit daunting not being able to kind of go and meet with your friends, especially when you're feeling a little bit down. So the best thing that I like to do, and you'll know from the title of this video, is to have myself a little pamper evening. So I'm not going to blab on too much in this intro, I'll keep it nice and short. Go and pop the kettle on or do what I'm going to be doing in a few seconds time. Pour yourself a nice big glass of wine, get nice and cosy and let's get into the video. I promise I'm not sat here naked. My pores are obviously now nice and open because of the heat from the bath. So I'm going to be using two face masks as part of this kind of like pamper evening. Um, the first one is going to be this one by Misfit Cosmetics. This is a blackhead extraction paste. I've used quite a few of these and personally I don't think this is um, kind of any different to like the ones you can get in Superdrug. I think this one was slightly more expensive um, but yeah most of them tend to kind of work the same. So you don't want to put too much on of this. I think we've all seen those kind of fail videos where people like slap it on absolutely everywhere and then like it really hurts to peel off. So mine is already spewing out top. But the main areas that we're going to just concentrate this is going to be on the nose. closer you get it to your eyes it's actually really quite painful so I would advise not going too close into kind of this area up here like I say you just want to concentrate it mainly on the bit where your sort of pores are large obviously if you've got large pores in, in different areas then by all means use it in those areas but personally I find it's just kind of on the bridge of my nose and then slightly down the sides. You also want to be quite generous with this. If you make it thin, then it it doesn't do it really doesn't do anything. So yeah, just don't be afraid to to slap it on. It actually makes it easier to peel it if you've got a thicker layer rather than just a thin one. Otherwise, it just breaks whenever you try and peel it off. So I'm going to do a small amount just on my chin. Then I'm going to do a final one on my forehead. So obviously be careful not to go too close to your eyebrows unless you want to give them a wax while you're at it. Um, but yeah, these are kind of the three main areas, kind of nose, chin, and then on my forehead. Some people I've seen have literally waxed it like on their entire face and I wouldn't want to uh, be the one that's got to sit there whilst you've got to peel it off because it looks hella painful. So it says to leave this one for 25 to 30 minutes. Um, it just really depends on kind of 
how long it takes to dry down depending on how like thick you've put the product on um, different areas dry at different times so it's just one of those just keep an eye on it I tend to sort of set a 20 minute timer and then see how I am looking so I'm going to carry on drinking my wine chilling out and I will see you guys in about 20 minutes I am back. It's been about 25 minutes. I'll leave it a little bit longer because it wasn't quite dry. Um, but yeah, this is the bit that I don't like doing is peeling it off. So my chin's already starting to come off like. Oh. I mean, you guys are not going to be able to see this at all on camera, but there's some definitely some small little blackheads that that's pulled out i always leave the what the like worst one until last the forehead one's always fine but yeah it's the one on my nose i don't like doing makes my eyes water oh okay that wasn't actually quite as bad as the last time i did it that was okay i'm just gonna use some micellar water just to take off any of the excess face mask that's still on the skin and then like i say we're just gonna go in with my second face mask so this one is one that i actually picked up in savers um if you guys don't know what savers is or if you don't have one near you then i think it's only a uk thing i don't know if they have them in other countries it's kind of a cross between, I'd say, like a B&M and a and a super jug, but everything is super, super cheap. So I got one of these face masks. This one is the Manuka Honey Revital Revitalizing Sheet Mask. Um, doesn't have a brand as far as, oh, Skin Treats. I think that's the brand name. Um, they do quite a few of these. I think there's an avocado one as well, which I've tried before, which is really nice. Um, but I'm just using this just because, obviously, the blackhead one kind of takes a lot of the um moisture out of the skin so i'm just going to replenish that with this sheet mask i'm not going to leave this one on for too long um i'll probably just leave it on for 15 minutes and then we will come back and do the next step in the pamper routine it's definitely a skill to like be able to apply these neatly Do you know what? That's actually not too bad. Normally they are like really wonky and falling off. But actually that one's gone on quite well if I do a show show myself. Okay, we are looking beautiful. Like I said, we'll leave that for four, 15 minutes just to get some moisture back into the skin. And then we will come back and do the next step. So it's been another 15 minutes. I'm just gonna take off my sheet mask. My next step is one that I haven't done for a while. So I'm a bit nervous doing it the first time on camera in case it goes absolutely horrendously wrong. Um, but that is fake tanning. So I went on holiday to Germany. Um, I mentioned it in a couple of previous videos, if you guys didn't know already. Um, and I actually picked up quite a nice tan. That was probably about two months ago now. So yeah, my tan is now pretty much faded. Um, I'm back to my pale, pale skin life. Um, and seeing as we're going into lockdown, I just want to feel a bit better about myself. And the best way to do that, I find, is to put on some tan because life is always better when you've got a tan. So I went through a phase where I would not touch a lotion with a barge pole, but actually, I really like this one. Um, this is the self tanning lotion in dark. Um, yeah, I just find it's quite long lasting on me and it doesn't go too streaky. So. I've just put on some big um, bikini bottom pants so that I'm not flashing you guys. And I've just got this really old grey like pyjama t-shirt on just because obviously when you're tanning, those are the kinds of things to wear. As much as I love wearing my 
fluffy Primark pyjamas. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to wear them when I've just faked tan because they will be ruined in five minutes. Um, but yeah, I am going to put on some tan and I'll be right back with you. Sorry guys for this horrendous angle, I had to film in the bedroom because the lighting in the bathroom is awful but I've just put a towel on the bed, starting with my legs and then moving on to my upper body. So the fake tan is done, this is what we are looking like, I've just gone with one kind of thin layer, I don't want to put too much on, I've not put any on my face just yet um, but we are going to be doing that later on. Um, next we're going to move on to... Probably something that I really need to do more often. I definitely neglect this part of my body and that is my feet. So if you don't like feet, then skip past this next bit. To be honest, I don't really like feet either. So don't really know why I'm putting my feet on uh, on YouTube. But there we go. Um, yeah, so that is going to be the next part of this routine. So before we begin, I'm just going to talk you through some of the products I'm going to be using. So I'm going to take off my old nail polish with just some normal nail polish remover because um, it's just normal nail polish that I've got on my toes at the moment. Then we've got the three gel polishes. So we've got the base coat, which is this one here. The colour, whichever colour you want to use. This is a blue sky one, which you can get on eBay. And then the top coat. These are all from eBay, so I will try and link some down below for you guys. And then lastly is some isopropyl alcohol and a lint wipe. If you want, then you can get the um, non-wipe top coat. So some of them you don't need this for. Um, but yeah, I haven't got that, so you will need this. Otherwise, you get that kind of sticky residue after you have cured your top coat. And the last thing that you're going to need is, of course, a lamp. So I've had this one for years and years. I'm not sure if they do it anymore. I got it off of eBay, um, but I will try and find something similar to link down below for you. So again, apologies for another horrendous angle. So this is quite a nice, easy process to follow, just starting off by removing any old kind of nail varnish, going in with the base coat. I did three layers in total of the colour itself. Then we just go in with the top coat and the isopropyl alcohol just to rub off any of the sticky residue. So my toes are now looking so much better than they were before. Um, I've actually gone ahead and done my evening skincare routine. I'm not going to include that into this video because I'm going to do a separate video on that. So stand by, that should be on my channel fairly soon. The last thing I'm just going to do is just apply a bit more of the Bondi Sands tan onto my face just so that everything matches and the best thing i find for this is to use a brush so this one is from tarte i don't think there's no there's no name on it i think it was when i got in a kit a little while back but the things remember when you're doing tan on your face is just use a small amount and then build it up especially obviously because it's going to develop we don't want to go in with loads straight away because I've done that before and then you wake up in the morning and realise what a huge mistake you have made. Okay guys, that is all I'm going to do. I haven't put loads of fake tan on my body, so yeah, I don't wanna put loads on my face, otherwise we won't be matching. Um, but yeah, that is it for my evening pamper routine. I've still got some of my wine left, so I'm gonna just chill for the rest of the evening and finish that off. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope it's given you a bit of inspiration for uh, your own like evening pamper routines. Just remember, if you're feeling a bit down, if you are struggling at all in this lockdown, then I think that this is the best way just to give you a bit of a pick you up and just, yeah, get you feeling a little bit better, lift up your mood. Uh, we can get through this. So like I say, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have them, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. It really does help to support me and I will see you guys in the next video.